All right, so a couple of y'all been sitting up here DMing me throughout, you know, times and asking me to give uh, my viewpoint on stuff. So I'm going to give my viewpoint on this right now and uh, you guys uh, check it out. I'm finna expose the out of him so people can see how he really is. It ain't more than, it ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because All right, so I'm gonna just say my little piece and uh, and just be done with that. But this is the reasons why I never really wanted to have a baby with anybody because that's a lifelong commitment. You know what I mean? And um, by it being that obviously she has multiple kids and he's just trying to take care of his, which is great. You know, um, but basically by her exposing him, she exposed herself at the same time. I believe that both of them in, are in the wrong. And basically what you're seeing is a breakdown of communication. So basically what she's really asking is, I need you to respect my house. You know, I have other kids here and you're bringing freaking McDonald's and my other kids can't have none either. You, you know, you're, you know, creating dissension in the house. He's like, I want to take care of my son. I want to bring him something to eat. Sure, if that was the only child she had. But now you're not respecting her house because now you're uh, breaking apart the cohesion that's probably in there because that's, his, that's the child's other siblings, right? So he was wrong in that. And she was wrong by, you know, wanting him to have to bring something for all of them. But that's also not wrong either. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's her house, right? He doesn't have to take care of the other kids, but he does have to respect the house. So he's more in the wrong because he made a conscious decision to literally drive, go to McDonald's, pick up the food, and then drive to her house to drop it off, to give it to the child so that he could sit there and eat it in front of all the other kids. Now, if anybody has siblings, you know full well when they're growing up, even in a two-parent home with the same parents, the kids are going neck to neck sometimes, okay? And we've heard plenty of stories. We've seen it. You might have gone through it yourself, okay? So that already is where both of them are wrong at. And if she could just communicate better to him, he probably would be more receptive. Men typically, in general, are receptive unless they're just crazy. I've found more women as far as communication is concerned, or more crazy than men, okay? <laughs> They'll twist and turn a lot of things. And usually if a man twists and turns things, it's one because um, he, I, what I've seen, this is my personal experience, is because, you know, he's either abused, he's overeducated, he likes to mind fuck, whatever the case is. But we're not even gonna get that deep right now. Right now, we just wanna talk about the video um, and why we have to be, you know, more mindful of who we choose, especially to bring another life into the world. I think it's one thing to sit up here and have sex, it's whatever, but it's one thing to bring a human life into the world that didn't ask to be here. And we're not gonna get spiritual and all it's gonna, ah, no, they chose to be here, whatever. Um, at the end of the day, you created the child and you had to take care of it, which she's trying to do the best way that she can. And he's coming in and bringing McDonald's and not bringing it for the rest of the kids, which is wrong. So um, both of them are in the wrong as far as the communication. And I don't even know how long this has been going on, but obviously it's been going on for a while because she felt like she needed to expose him. Because nine times I said, sometimes, yeah, that I'm a good dad, I'm a good dad or whatever. True, but you're supposed to take him out on a McDonald's date and then tell the child, listen, when you get back home, don't really talk about the McDonald's you know, or, or whatever the case is, because I know that you you know, your other siblings can't, don't have the same type of dads, you know what I mean? And I, you know, and safe to assume she's talking about food stamps and I'm not sure where she's living and what she's doing, but obviously she doesn't have a lot of money and she's trying to do the best that she can to take care of her kids. Um, and by him doing that, that's creating more dissension in the house which means it's going to be very volatile in many different ways, depending on how the children react to each other. Because the child could be a nice kid. You know, he could get clothes and, you know, he might share it with his siblings. He might get 
the McDonald's burger and cut it up for everybody to have. We don't know that. But at the end of the day, you know, this could be something deep rooted where she's like, I barely want to see you. I had the child because I wanted to keep you, you know, and now you're just coming over here, you know, reminding me every day or every time you come over here that I've had a son with you. You're no longer in my world to help me. And I'm reminded every day that you might be the, you might have been the better choice out of all the baby days that I had. You don't know what's going on in a woman's mind and in, in her world. But these are the things, this is why I want to talk to the guys that do have baby moms so that they will not do something like this because sometimes, you know, it could be the dad doing things, not realizing he's trying to be a good dad, right? But you're actually creating more tension. This is why she's steaming constantly. You wonder why she's so mad. It's because you're doing little things like this. And a lot of times it's always the little things that creates and it builds into a freaking mountain from a molehill. Okay. So uh, that's my little tidbit. Um, you know, like I said. So with that said, I'm out. <laughs>